Students, this is NEET 2011's question, right? So let's read the statement. The energies E1 and E2 of two radiations are 25 electron volt and 15 electron volt respectively. The relation between their wavelengths that is lambda 1 and lambda 2 will be, right? So in this question, we are having four options and we have to tell about the relation between wavelength 1 and wavelength 2 when energies of two radiations are 25 electron volt and 50 electron volt right for this I'll see the relation so relation I'll use will be E equal to H C by lambda now I know that in this question only wavelengths are changing right because this H is Planck's constant it will be constant and C equal to 3 into 10 raised to power 8 for both the energies right so for this I'll mention that energy 1 is 25 electron volt and energy 2 it is 50 electron volt this H and C both are constant right so 6.626 into 10 raised to power minus 34 Joule second is the value of H and C is 3 into 10 raised to power 8 meter per second. Now we will see the relation according to the energy 1 and energy 2. So for that E1 equal to H C by lambda 1 and E2 will be H C by lambda 2. Now to find the relation between the wavelengths what I will do I will simply divide E1 with E2 right. For this I can write over here E1 divided by E2 equal to HC by lambda 1. Now E2 is in denominator. So when I will mention the relation of E2 it will be reversed. So lambda 2 will be in numerator and HC in denominator. So I will cancel HC with this HC because these two values are constant right. Now put the values of energy. So E1 25 electron volt divided by E2 50 electron volt equal to lambda 2 by lambda 1. I'll cancel electron volt with this 25 on the 25 25 to the 50 right now we will cross multiply these values so lambda 1 into 1 equal to 2 into lambda 2 lambda 1 into 1 it will be lambda 1 and 2 into lambda 2 twice of lambda 2 right so according to that second option is the correct option that lambda 1 is twice of lambda 2